In order to access the DNR SWIMS database, you'll need to create a MyWisconsin ID. This process only needs to happen once. A link to the account creation page can be found on the Citizen Lake Monitoring Network website by clicking on the Data Entry button and then clicking on the link to set up a MyWisconsin ID account. Links to this page can also be found on the Clean Boats Clean Waters website by clicking the About Data Entry button and then clicking the link, or at the Water Action Volunteers website by hovering over the Data header, clicking Submit Data, and scrolling down to the button to create a MyWisconsin ID. To create a new account, click the Sign Up button at the bottom of the box. Enter your first name, last name, and email address, and then click Sign Up. The next step is to verify your email address and choose a password. Click the Setup button under Email. This will send you an email with a link to activate your new account. Open that email and click the Activate My Wisconsin ID Account button. This will activate your account and ask you to create an account password. There are some requirements listed to help you create a strong password. After you choose your password, click Next. The next step is to choose an additional security feature. We recommend using the phone option, which will send you a verification code to your phone when you log in, just to make sure that it's really you. If you click the setup button under phone, you'll enter your phone number and click the button to receive a text message code to your phone. Enter that code in the setup box and click verify to complete that setup. Now scroll down to the bottom and click Continue to finish creating your account. At this point your account is ready and you can log out by clicking on the arrow next to your name and choosing Sign Out. To log into the SWIMS database with your new account, go back to the Citizen Lake Monitoring Network page and click on the link to access the SWIMS database. This is the link that you'll use to access the database starting today. Again, you can also find a link to the database on the Clean Boats Clean Waters page or the Water Action Volunteers page. You can bookmark one of these pages for easy access in the future. Scroll down to the My Wisconsin ID box and click Sign In. You'll need to enter your email address and then your password, then click the button to send a code to your phone, and enter that code and click Verify. If this is your first time accessing the SWIMS database, click on Continue as New User. If you've used the SWIMS database in the past, you'll need to transfer your previous database information to your new account. To do this, click the Transfer WAMS Data button, and that'll transfer over your existing SWIMS database projects and other information. It'll ask you for your WAMS ID and password, which is the username and password you've been using up to this point to log into the SWIMS database. This is not the new ID and password you just created a few minutes ago. Click the Submit button and it'll log you into the SWIMS database. All of your projects should have transferred over to your new account. From this point forward, the login process will be much simpler. You'll just go to the SWIMS login page, click Sign In, enter your email address, and your password. Click the button to send a code to your phone, enter the code, and you're in. If you have any questions, please reach out to your volunteer monitoring program staff for help.